Hey everyone, so today I'm going to give you five tips on how to pack a motorcycle either for long distance travel or for camping. Stick around. Okay, tip number one is to plan ahead. Make a list of the essentials, the things that you know you're gonna need. This will also help prevent you from overpacking. This is something that almost everybody does in the beginning. We just carry more stuff than we actually end up needing. It helps to make a little bit of a list, plan ahead, do a little bit of research on what you might actually need and what items might be better left at home. Tip number two is to use quality luggage. I prefer soft luggage. I use the stuff from Moscow Moto, the backcountry panniers. But Wolfman has some great stuff. Uh, Lone Rider has some great stuff. There's a lot of companies that have really really solid soft luggage and also of course there's hard luggage if that's the path you choose to go uh, certainly nothing wrong with that I had Tortec hard cases for a while and they were awesome they treated me really well it's important though this is one of those things where you either buy nice or buy twice I know on my first cross-country trip my first big trip I used soft luggage and I kind of cheaped out on it and from packing it and unpacking it over the two months and from it being wet from rain and then dried out and wet and dry it just disintegrated it completely got destroyed and it left me kind of stranded. I had to ship, st ship stuff home because I didn't have any way to carry it. So definitely invest in some good quality luggage. It'll go a long way and it'll save you a lot of a headache. Tip number three is to distribute the weight evenly. That means that both sides, both side cases are gonna weigh roughly the same amount. This keeps everything balanced and it makes the bike a lot more sturdy and secure. Especially if you have bags that come off the bike, it makes this really easy. You can just kind of pick up each one with one hand and kind of give it a little feel, see which one feels heavier or lighter or whatever. And that way you can kind of get a sense of what it's gonna feel like on the bike. Tip number four is to pack heavy items low. This is one of the first things that goes into my side case is my toolkit because it's the most heavy item that I carry. So that goes in first all the way at the bottom. So you want it low and tight to the bike. This prevents the bike from becoming top heavy and it could really potentially put you in a dangerous situation. The bike's not gonna handle great. And tip number five is to secure your luggage with sturdy straps. I prefer to not use bungee cords. I just don't trust them. I use rock straps, but there's plenty of other types of straps you could use or cargo nets or whatever. It's just important that it's all secured to the bike, nice and tight, so nothing moves around. And you wanna give it a little bit of a check every time you stop to get gas. Just make sure that nothing is shifted. The bike vibrates, so things can tend to loosen over time. Make sure when you're at the gas station that you just give everything a little shove. See if uh, anything moves or anything has moved while you were riding. Uh, this is gonna be absolutely critical to your safety. If something comes loose, either you're gonna lose that item down the road or even worse, it could potentially get stuck in your rear wheel or in your chain, and that could be really catastrophic. So it's very, very important that you secure things tightly to the bike. Anyways, those are my five tips for packing a motorcycle for camping or long distance travel. I hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.